When I was four months old, my parents were told that I'd be lucky to live to be five years old. I kind of spent a lot of time off and on starting at the age of eight in the hospital. And during my time there, I met a lot of kids who also had cystic fibrosis, among other illnesses, and it worried me. So I went back to my room and I wrote a book called The Spider Who Never Gave Up, gave it to the kids. And when I was about 12 or 13, I decided that this is a story I wanted to share on a massive scale. Somehow, I needed to get this book out into the world and make a wish, approached my family and said, what would he like? And that was my wish, to publish the book. Make-A-Wish Foundation, what I tend to say at all the events I speak at for them, is that they really set the course for the rest of my life. They paved a road for me. To be honest, I didn't know if I'd be alive through adulthood, so to be able to be here today and still continue to work with Make-A-Wish means the world to me. Diagnosed at four months was a shock to us. We never looked at it like he was going to die. We always treated him like no, you're going to live. We have to look to the future. We always had a, a motto, uh, first, no pity parties. Allow yourself to cry because you have to cry, but no pity parties. And the other thing was never give up on your hopes and dreams. In October of 2014, I, I came up to San Francisco and I was very, very sick at the time. I wanted so badly to walk across the Golden Gate Bridge with my mom, but it just wasn't possible at all. I was lucky to even make it to where I'm sitting right now without passing out. To be able to be back today and just be a normal tourist is just the best feeling on earth because for the first time in my life I'm in San Francisco and I'm not being followed by an oxygen tank, I'm being followed by my mom and my brother. Through all of his adventures that he goes through, it's been my goal to be there for him. And sadly I wasn't here for his last San Francisco, I would have carried him across if I could. If that was an option I would have carried him. So to see him walk it, that's through the roof excitement for me. I think crossing the Golden Gate Bridge is definitely a bucket list type item. It's more for me though, more than anything, it's just, uh, it's a way for me to cross a body of water that signifies my illness. When I was going through transplant, it was so difficult. There were so many moments where I felt like I wasn't going to make it. And uh, you know, with my mom and my family, my little brother who's here today, it was just, it became a possible thought in my head that Someday I could do this, someday I will be back and I will cross this body of water and the Golden Gate Bridge will signify me getting to the other side of my illness, which I have. And to be able to cross this bridge with the help of Make-A-Wish Greater Bay is just incredible. Make-A-Wish provides pillars of hope and strength to wish kids and their families and there's no other way that's better than a bridge like this to signify that for them. And to be able to cross this and have them with me during this journey has just been a blessing.